I'm Megan from Warm Glass and today we're going to have a look at kiln carving. Kiln carving is a really nice technique for introducing texture to your work. Um, it's quite quick and easy to do. So um, there's lots of information on our knowledge base about kiln carving. Different projects like this kiln carved billet project here. So what um, you need to start off with is some fibre paper. I've got the 3 mil fibre paper here. You can use 1 mil or 6 mil, um, but 3 mil works quite nicely. This will give this sort of definition to your pieces. Um, and the way to start is if you decide what size piece of glass you want to use. So I've got a 10 by 15 centimetre rectangle here. And draw around it onto your thin fibre paper using a pencil. The pencil mark won't come off onto the glass so you know what you're aiming for. And then you want to draw your design onto your fibre paper as well. I've already drawn mine here, I've got a pig. Um, and then carefully, uh, using a craft knife, you can cut that design out. Um, if you're very careful, you can get both a positive and a negative um, out of your one piece of fibre paper, so you're using it for, for two projects instead of one. Um, so carefully cut that pig out, and then once you've done so, you should be able to get... I carefully put this out. two pieces of fibre paper which you can use for kiln carving. So what I mean by positive and negative, if we look at these two samples here, um, you've got one where the design comes out of the glass and one where it goes into the glass and that all depends on which side of the fibre paper you're using. So to get a nice clean finish on the glass, if you use kiln wash um, it will release nicely. So I've got some already mixed up kiln wash here in this bucket and I'm just going to give it a stir to make sure it's not all settled on the bottom. And you want to paint that onto your fibre paper and make sure you do get it into all of the edges as well because that's where it will stick. So you might need a bit of a smaller brush to really get in there. And once you've done that, um, let it completely dry. And you can see here's the other side. So this is this version um, that I kiln washed earlier and it's now dry and ready to be fired in the kiln. So when you're ready with your project, on either a kiln washed shelf or onto thin fire paper, place your design and your glass on top. and it's ready for fusing. So you can find all the information about firing kiln carving projects in the kiln carving tip sheet in the knowledge base on our website. Um, I recommend firing slightly hotter than you would do for an ordinary full fuse, 815 to 820 degrees centigrade, um, especially if you've got very fine detail, um, that extra heat will be needed so that the glass can really get down into those details. I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching.